guys, it's Chantel with Wildberry Quilting, and we are back for our spring quilt inspiration video. So you guys really enjoyed it when I did this for Valentine's Day. I figured it was time that we do it for spring as well. So I'm going to put the pictures of what I'm talking about up here in the corner. Now you might see me occasionally looking down That's because my computer is here so that I can also view them with you. Okay, so the first fabric line that we have is Forest Forage, and this is put out by a company called Fabulism. Now, I've never purchased the Fabulism fabrics before, so I'm not exactly sure what the quality is like. They do appear to be good quality from what I can see in pictures, but of course, pictures are difficult to judge fabric quality on. They do appear to be a more natural Seemingly unbleached fabric though, which is definitely something that I like and usually tends to be a little bit higher quality. And the colors in this line are absolutely beautiful. They have some that would work really well for spring and then you can also pull them together for fall or for summer as well. There are these beautiful honeycombs and that's kind of embroidered onto there. And then there's also these really cute little daisy ones, which are also embroidered onto there. None of the fabric is printed. So it's definitely something unique. Next up, we have Flower Girl. And this line is just so sweet. It has these beautiful florals and ginghams, and it's just absolutely adorable. And it definitely has that very soft, muted tone for spring and Easter. It would be fantastic for any kind of spring or Easter sewing. It has whites and greens and yellows, and then this, this very sweet peach color. <laughs> Next up, we have Rise and Shine by Melody Miller for Ruby Star Society. And this is just so bright and cheerful and beautiful. I honestly kind of struggled whether I should put this into the spring video or the summer video, but I think it would work great for both. And I decided some, that it would be better for spring so that it could transition into summer for whatever it is you plan to make with it. <laughs> so this next one is called Lemon Bouquet by Timeless Treasures. This line is just so cute. It has lemons and bees and just all of the yellow and white and green that you could possibly want. Again, this is one that just would be perfect for spring, but also transition very well into summer as well. Next up is Willow from Moda. And I found this one very interesting because it has a much darker spring palette. It still has all of those traditional spring vibes and colors to it. It's just that the hues are so much more saturated that it appears much darker, but in a very lovely way. <laughs> and they have these beautiful flowers that really remind me of magnolia flowers or lotus blossoms or something. Maybe they're actually supposed to be from a willow tree though. Either way, they are so cute. Next up, we have My Summer House by Bunny Hill Designs from Moda. Now this one I would have included in the Valentine's video, but it was not yet released. I believe it is coming out in March and it is just so beautiful. It's got this sweet little houses and the trees. It's got the reds and the whites and the aquas. And it's very traditional, but also has a much more modern twist too with those little houses and the trees. All right, there is nothing I don't love about this next line. It is called Sweetbriar and it's from Riley Blake. And it is just so perfect. It has these sweet little apples and flowers and butterflies. I love this line. 
And again, I think this one would transition really well and could be used throughout the year. I see aspects of this that definitely point to fall and even winter. All right, this next one is called The Old Garden by Riley Blake. And this one, again, took that darker color palette, similar to what we saw earlier on with Willow, only Willow went more with the greens and the pinks, and this has gone more with the blues and the greens and the yellows. This would be a really fantastic line to make a men's spring quilt out of. So next we have a really bright and chipper one, and it is called Our Fair Home from Anna Maria Horner. Now, Anna Maria has absolutely breathtaking quilts that she makes from her fabrics. And her fabrics all have this really fun boho kind of vibe to them. I fall in love with several of the fabrics from her lines, from each of her lines, but not every single fabric speaks to me. So I have not bought one of her bundles before. Eventually, I think I may. And this bundle is absolutely beautiful. There are a lot of very, very bright and lovely fabrics in this line. So of course, you probably have guessed that I would have to include on this list Strawberry Lemonade from Sherry and Chelsea. Now this line, you have already seen me do an unboxing for. If you haven't, then check out my Etsy unboxing video that I just posted a couple weeks ago. It, I went through all of the fabrics in the line and it is so stinking cute. <laughs> I love it. I can't wait to work with it. I just need to find the perfect pattern for it. Definitely check it out. I will say that this one is selling out quickly. I had the fat quarter bundle in my cart on Etsy from several different sellers and it sold out from all but two of them. So definitely take a look and make sure that you get this before it goes away. <laughs> okay. I like to think that I might've had some small part in this next line. Probably not, but I like to think it anyways. <laughs> the next one is Roar by Tula Pink. A few years ago, somebody had asked the question in a group about what fabric lines you would like to see from Tula Pink. And my suggestion was dinosaurs. <laughs> I just always thought that it would be the coolest thing to see Tula Pink do a line of dinosaurs. I think I may have also mentioned something like scorpions, because if anybody can do it, it would be Tula Pink. <laughs> well, my request came true and she has in fact done a line of dinosaurs and it is called Roar and it is in these fantastic pastel shades, but not so pastel that you couldn't use them the rest of the year. It definitely also brings in a little bit of that summer fun, like popsicle colors. <laughs> I definitely need to order this one. <laughs> this next one, I've got to have it. It's called Strawberry Season and it's from Robert Kaufman. And I had such trouble finding a good picture of this. I think it's a new line, but there are just not good pictures of it out there online. So I don't know how big this image is going to be for you. I did my best. Sorry. <laughs> Hopefully you can still get a good idea of what it looks like. It has these fantastic pinks and reds and whites and aquas and it is just so sweet. It is everything I love in a strawberry line. So you know this is coming. It's going to be here. It's coming to me. Definitely. I just need to order it first. 
if ever there was a time that I looked at a fabric and I said, this is spring. This is a spring fabric. This line screams spring. It would be this one. And it is Springs in Town by Sandy Gervais. As you can see, it is adorable. I think it would be perfect for a child's quilt. That's what I think of when I look at it or something that's very Eastery and fun. I can see little bunny quilt blocks made out of this and Easter eggs and just all of that fun. <laughs> it definitely is, I think, the most spring and Eastery of all of the lines that I have mentioned here today. It just hits all of the marks there. <laughs> Oh, and I love those teeny tiny little peaches that are on some of the fabrics. Very cute. I love that. <laughs> All right, so now we are on to the patterns. And these could go with some of the fabrics that we mentioned previously. Or maybe you have some wonderful spring fabrics you'd like to use these patterns for. This one's called Tulip Toss, and it's from Pieces from My Heart. And... I can just so see this with that Sandy Gervais line. You can also see this put together with that Anna Maria Horner line and making some very bright, vibrant tulips, just tossing about. <laughs> All right, now this is one of my favorites and I have already bought it. You may or may not have seen that yet. <laughs> it is called Vintage Stitching and it is from my so quilty life and this is such a sweet pattern i absolutely adore it it just screams vintage and i just can't get enough of it now my so quilty life is knocking it out of the park this year with these beautiful spring patterns and I can't include all of them in this video but i am going to include another one it is called Garden Gate. And this is another beautiful, sweet spring floral pattern. And this one has the added bonus that it works well with two and a half inch strips, which is always useful. <laughs> Next up, we've got Robin Pickens. And this is Little Bird Song. She always makes such beautiful fabric and quilts. It is crazy. <laughs> I love her stuff. I really do. I've even seen that she has some pretty awesome cross stitch patterns out there. So I'm going to have to check those out as well. <laughs> now this one is a smaller quilt. It would definitely be better for maybe a baby quilt or a wall hanging. Okay. So I had to include this quilt because I absolutely love it. It is Wild Strawberries by Cake Stand Quilts. Now, sadly, I can only find this in the PDF version. Normally, I try to steer away from the PDF quilt patterns, but I couldn't help it on this one because I can't find it any other way. And it's so cute, I didn't want to leave it out. Look at those little strawberries. <laughs> they also sort of resemble maybe radishes or something, or is it turnips? I don't know. <laughs> Which one is red? I know one is white and one is red. It looks like one of them, but I absolutely adore it. <laughs> All right, now we have Make a Wish by Ginger Burr. And this is a pretty decent sized quilt. It would work well for a throw. Look at that butterfly. It is so cute. We've got the flowers, the butterflies, the stars, you name it. It is perfect for spring. This next one is called Strawberry Basket and it is from So A Story. <laughs> and it may look familiar because I've also bought this pattern already too. <laughs> this is definitely going to be one that I have to make. Of course, I need all of the strawberry quilts. I can't help it. It's just my thing. 
but definitely going to need to make this quilt. And I adore the little stars as the shine on the strawberries. It's just such an adorable novel touch. <laughs> and again, this one would make a really great throw size quilt. It is 60 by 77 inches. So next up, we have a free quilt pattern, and it is called Jam Char, <laughs> and it is from Briar Hill Designs. This is so cute. It has these little jelly jars, and you can fill them up with all of the different fruit fabric that you might have laying around. This would make such an adorable little baby quilt, or you could size it up by adding more rows of jam jars. <laughs> Now, I couldn't find what the actual size, finished size, is for it, the way that it looks here. You could probably calculate that just by looking at all of their measurements on their website. I will link that down below along with all of these other ones. <laughs> all right, now I just stumbled across this quilt pattern. It is called Daisy a Day, and it's from Flamingo Toes. Beverly McCullough, what are you doing to me? This is just too stinking cute. We've got the flowers and we've got the bumblebees or honeybees. I guess they're honeybees because they're thinner than bumblebees. Oh my gosh, I love it. This is so cute. And it kind of makes me want to mix and match it with other quilt blocks because couldn't you see this with the little flowers and the bees and then maybe a strawberry quilt block in there somewhere. <laughs> I don't know. I'm getting ideas here. Definitely would have to make sure that those quilt blocks would end up being the same size in order to be able to put them together. But I am thinking this quilt is absolutely adorable. <laughs> and it is big. It finishes at 79 by 93 inches. This is probably what? Twin size? That's a good size quilt. <laughs> All right, we are on to books. And these two books are just phenomenal. I can't wait to get my hands on them. I don't have either of them yet because I think they're both new releases and still waiting to get out. First up, we've got Lori Holt, and it is Quilter's Cottage. Now, some of Lori Holt's stuff is pieced, and some of it is applique. And this looks to be like it's probably a pieced quilt, which makes me very happy because I haven't played around with applique yet. I'm scared. <laughs> but this looks to be entirely pieced from what I can tell. Maybe the little heart on the door isn't. That might be applique, but everything else, even the stone steps, I believe are pieced. So I am very excited to take a look at this book when it comes out. And I believe she's got some cross stitch things in here as well. And last, but definitely not least, we have Strawberry Garden. From Fig Tree and Co. And oh, this quilt is amazing. It has so many pieces though. I'm a little bit scared. I bought a pattern that was, it had strawberries and flowers and stuff on it from Fig Tree and Co. And it has to be one of the prettiest patterns that I own. It is absolutely stunning. And I am going to make that quilt one day. But each block has something crazy like 99 pieces, and that's each block. <laughs> I don't know if this quilt will be easier or harder than that because it looks like a lot of pieces, but it also looks worth it. So if you're down for a challenge, I think this is going to be a fantastic book. 
and I'm pretty sure I'm going to have to find a place for it on my shelf. <laughs> Thank you so much for joining me today. It has been so fun to look through these fabrics and patterns and books with you. <laughs> I hope you enjoy it as much as I do, and I hope you have a wonderful day. <laughs> Please remember to hit like and subscribe, and I'll see you again next time. Bye.